Prepare, prepare, and inspire. Our vision is empower students. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence. I promise to be safe and respectful to everyone and help our school remain bully free. You may now have seats. Today's lunch choices are chicken tenders, turkey ham and cheese bacon milk, baked crinkle fries, seasoned peas, and assorted chilled fruit. Students, please remember to bring back all books when you are finished reading and testing when you come to the library. Students may only have three books out at a time. Cut Out Ice will be here Thursday during recess for everyone to receive a sweet treat for helping us to raise money for our farm to school learning center. Good job, Briggs. Today is National Dot Day. National Dot Day was inspired by the book The Dot by Peter Reynolds. It encourages creativity, courage, and collaboration. To celebrate National Dot Day, read the book by checking it out in the library or reading the online Read Aloud book. You can also write a poem, draw a picture, make a video, write a story, or anything creative you can think of. We will now have a hallway headline report with Henley and me. Boosterthon money that y'all raised last year is going towards purchasing for our school. In 2015, our garden was installed with lumber, and we learned that uh, the lumber doesn't hold up very well after about five or six years. And so a lot of our beds and our fenced-in garden are rotting, and they needed to be replaced. So we're replacing them with a new um, design. It's really heavy duty roofing, um, corrugated roofing metal, and when it gets done, it's going to look similar to this in our garden. So the next step is, these are being constructed off-site, they have to be delivered, and then we have to dismantle and take down everything that's inside the existing garden, level it, and then install these and fill these with dirt, and we will have a brand new, beautiful uh, garden thanks to y'all support through Booster Fund. How long will this last? We think this has a much longer life expectancy than our wooden um, boards. We use pressure treated lumber around the top and so the metal of course is not going to uh, disintegrate or uh, degrade as quickly as the lumber did. Will the metal, the metal do any damage to it? No. Due to the new garden yeah, we'll do new plants, new soil, uh, everything will be brand new. Why will your new garden be done? Well, there's a couple things that have to be done first, like I said a little while ago. Uh, the existing garden has to be totally dismantled and demolished and the site prepared. These are being built off site by uh, Ag Ed students at the Advantage Academy over at the South Side of the South Florence. So my projection is we'll have everything in place uh, early spring, late winter uh, after Christmas. That's when we'll have it all done. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, but thank you so much for having me today. Bye, Briggs Bulldogs. Bye.